Hey, this is SCV Rush from the UEN.com giving you guys a Terran build order today on 111. The 111 build order uh, relies on the barrack, the factory, and the starport. That's why it's called 111 because you build one of each. Uh, my opponent here on Blistering Sand today is Main Tang. Played a couple games today with him. He is currently is a diamond player, I think ranked 60 in his division. I'm not sure. But yeah, I've played quite a few games with him and he's a really de decent star, uh, Protoss player. So what you want to do with this build order is that you want to build the Supply Depot at 9, pretty standard stuff, and then you build the uh, Barracks at 12, and then the f at 14 you build the Refinery. Very similar to the 1 Racks, 1 Factory build order, it's actually the same, but you also get Starport and transition to something different. So the reason why this uh, build order is very powerful is that it allows you to be very efficient in terms of production so you build your barracks you can produce out marines out of it and you use the marines as the main composition and then you build your factory and your starport depending on the situation you get tanks or banshees or ravens whichever but you're not wasting any additional resource on on buildings like ghost academy or engineering bay or something something you know random so he's just scouting me a little bit uh, I just scouted him. I'm about to scout him right now. I like to send my scout a little later to get an economic advantage because if I scout him too early, then I lose you know minerals about one minerals per second. And at the same time, Pro uh, Protoss player doesn't like to cheese that often, whereas a Zerg player can go for a Bane only buzz or a Temple. So he's just harassing me a little bit right now. You always want to pull. He always likes to attack me until his shield runs out or before he dies and run back and recharge his shield. I think he harassed me earlier. Uh, yeah, he harassed me earlier. You just want to pull back your SCVs, really. There's not much you can do. Um, you just kind of have to take it. So what he's doing right now, he's putting on his simulator, so he's probably teching. So I'm actually doing some harassment myself because Protoss players don't actually expect this coming, so you always want to throw them off guard. He's actually a very smart player. You can see that he pulled his probe and put it into the simulator, and that re that, that that makes my SCV unable to target it. So I'm just running away right now. Um, you always want to keep pumping Marines because you know you can always have the opportunity to do that marine takes quite a little bit of time it takes about 25 seconds so you always want to keep pumping marines while everything else is happening so i'm just getting my my gas my overall command i want to get around 16 17 depends on personal preference really if you want to build you know saturating your mineral lines is just as important as getting that mule so you look at look at let's look at the income cap yep yeah, we're about even uh, the mule is about three scvs so you know 90 harvest to 10, 10 20 20 harvest okay 21 so i'm getting out macro a little bit he's using his chrono boost on more probes than anything else yeah you can see he's not getting his stalker quick he's yeah he's always he's a macro player so he's beating me income by two harvesters which is not too bad i mean later on once i saturate my mineral line then i will i will be beating him in income so right now i'm throwing down my factory i'm all constantly p producing marines right now um and then he has this Zonaga Tower capture, so I'm probably going to capture this one. So he's probably going for a 2-gate Robo or maybe 4-gate. Um, it kind of depends. Right now, you, you can see that he's not putting a lot of pressure on me right now. A lot of Protoss player likes to send his Stalker out to harass my barracks, harass my Marines. You, you, then you, you want to throw down a Bunker here or Bunker here to fend it off because you can't really stop him from harassing you other than that. Because... They can, he can always run back and recharge his shield. Once his shield comes back on, he just attacks you again, take something down. It's really frustrating. So it depends on the situation. If he does that, then you might want to get the tank early and put down the starport later. If he doesn't do that, you could feel free to put down the starport first. And then I think that this tag lab is not for the tank. This tag lab is for the starport. So I can get my Raven as fast as possible. Building my supply depot. You always want to build a supply depot at this choke here or at this block a rock a destructible rock just in case he attacks this base or attack this area here that you can't see it i think he does say yeah he sees he puts a pylon it's always good to do that i mean having extra vision at a critical ramp is all, always important so you can see that he is okay so he's going three gate and a uh, robotics facility so he's going for some kind of immortal push he doesn't really know actually he could not be getting immortals he could be getting observers because he doesn't really know what i have let's see what he scouts See, he doesn't really see anything. He doesn't see my refineries. He doesn't. See, he only sees my factory. And last time he just scouted my base with his probe, he saw like four marines. So he knows that I'm not committing my gas into infantry build. 
he's not he knows that if I put a tech lab down here maybe one or two marauders he knows that I have marauders coming in so he knows that I don't want to be getting anything like cloaked banshees or ravens or tanks so he doesn't really know anything so he's probably getting observer yeah he's getting observer just to see what I have he's had a couple of units um, yeah, everyone's just kind of macroing up. I, I took both Zelnaga Towers with my Marines. I feel it's really important because you have to kind of be on the defensive side until you get the army comp composition of your choice. Right now, I'm kind of in the defensive position because obviously I can't push out with a pitiful army of, you know, tank and like six Marines, seven Marines. I'm putting down another barracks because uh, I can't spend my, mineral, my minerals fast enough compared to my gas. Um, this is because... You always want to have a balanced army. What I mean by a balanced army is that you want to use your mineral efficiently and your gas efficiently. In, in this case, I'm using all my minerals to get marines, and I'm using my gas to get tanks and banshees and ravens. You always want to have a balanced army because that way you will maximize your your um, your units, really. Because say, for example, a Protoss player likes to get stalkers. Mass Doctor is a great, great one because you know it costs a little bit of gas, a little bit of minerals. Whereas a lot of other play Protoss player likes to go for Zealot Sentry. You know, Sentry is a very, very gas-heavy unit, and Zealot is a hundred minerals, no gas. So that's a really nice balanced army, and Force Field allows the Zealot to get close to the enemy. So in my case, I'm building Marines. I'm spending money, minerals on Marines, and spending gas on tanks and Ravens. Now I got the Raven first, which is because Ravens is great unit against stalkers because of the point defense drone which I'll go over in a bit and also um, Raven allows you to have sight so if you got rush for anything like tricky like DTs or how you can kill observers I think I killed observer I'm not sure um, you can kill observers and things like that so he doesn't have sight on you um, but the point defense drone is a 50 HP unit it intercepts aerial attacks uh, drains 10 HP per shot, uh, 10 energy per shot, and it has 200 energies. 200 energies. There's no plural for that. <laughs> uh, it has 200 energy, and basically it stops about 21 attacks, and that's a lot because Stalker is a really slow attacking unit. The battle's about to happen. You can see that it's 1.44. So he sees this force, and yeah, he is forced to retreat. Even though my army doesn't look that big, but if I put down the point defense drone, he can't do anything about it. It's because I can intercept about 5-6 seconds of attacks from all these Stalkers and 5-6 seconds in Starcraft 2 is such a huge amount of time that that he's, I can probably kill like 4 Stalkers in that time frame I have 3 tanks, tanks is an amazing armor of, uh, damage dealer to armor unit it actually does more damage in, it actually does more damage in siege mode uh, in regular mode than siege mode with versus armor unit so you, you don't actually want to research siege you just want to get extra tanks because it does so much damage in siege, uh, on siege mode in siege mode. That's something interesting to think about. You, you know, sieging is always, uh, it's not always better, like in StarCraft 1. Because right now, uh, siege mode takes about 4 seconds instead of 3 seconds in StarCraft 1, which is an extra second. And if, you, if battle is happening, 4 seconds wasted is a lot of time. You might not even want to siege it. And unless it's a really big fight, then, you know, a critical mass of siege tanks is really powerful. So I'm breaking down his rocks right now. Um, there's, you know, always want to attack from the front. So he sees this and he's fighting, fighting me. I'm putting down my gall turret because I don't have any energy for a point defense drone. Right now he's in a bad position. He's focusing on my tanks. But I have so many marines. See, this is why marines are so good because marines is such a good damage dealer and meat shield for the terrans. He can't really snipe my banshees because I have so many marines. I can always pull the banshees back and he can't really chase after it. So I'm breaking down his rocks. This is a better ramp to fight at. This is such a tiny ramp. This is a much bigger ramp. So I'm, so I'm not in a very good position right now. I really want to get up this ramp. I have four banshees. That's really powerful. I don't think you can do much against four banshees. I'm focused down his uh, immortals because that will kill my tank really badly. And he's, you know, again, forced to retreat because there's really not much he can do. Four banshees. That's a lot to deal with. So. If, if the opponent makes a lot of stalkers, you want to make a lot more marines. But yeah, yeah. He, this is he can't really see my see my tanks at this you know position. Or hold on, one second. Yeah, you can see he can't see my tanks, so he's walking blindly, in, uh, his zealot blindly into my into my tanks. So what I was gonna say earlier is that if 
the opponent gets a lot of Zealot, then you want to get more Banshees. If he gets a lot of Stalkers, then you might want to go for a little more Tank and Ravens. If he gets for uh, any Air unit, then you want to get more Marines. So it kind of depends on the situation type of build. So you have to, I mean, the idea is to build one of each production unit, but you still have to kind of watch what you want to build. You want to build, if he gets a lot of Sentries and Zealot, you don't want to get like too many Tanks because they suck against Zealots and Force Field and things like that. You want to get a lot of Banshees. Whereas he gets Immortals, you want to get a lot more Marines just so you can break that shield as fast as possible so your tanks and Banshees can really damage them. So that's pretty much how this build works, guys. Um, you build the Supply Depot at 9, Barracks at 12, 14 Refinery, and once you have 100 Gas, you build the Factory and get the Over Command, obviously. And then, depending on the situation, uh, you could build the Starport, or you could get a Tank first, and maybe a Bunker, depending on if he's harassing you or not. So that's about it folks, um, please 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 subscribe to our channel, we update our channel daily, we have new tactics and tricks and strategies updated daily, uh, we're trying to make our website going, we're trying to make the eSports community, community more well known, so yeah it'd be really nice if you could subscribe to our channel. Alright thanks for listening guys.